that's a battle whose outcome will affect every one of us. Ben Chewell, I'm joined now by Nick von Westerholtz, Director of EU Exit and International Trade for the National Farmers Union, and by Jared Lyons, an economist who campaigned for Leave and who is currently the Chief Economic Strategist at Net Wealth Investments. Good evening to you both. So here you have two free marketeers. Uh, you have uh, Michael Gove and um, Liam Fox battling it out on different sides of this. Uh, ostensibly, Michael Gove battling for the farmers. So how high do the tariffs need to be before farmers really suffer? Well, I mean, this isn't a binary issue. It's either consumers or farmers. Uh, what Michael Gove set out earlier this week when he came and spoke to uh, the NFU's conference uh, was that they want to come up with a tariff that both protects consumers from price rises in a no Brexit scenario, mm -hmm. but also does so in a way that doesn't damage producers. And that is, it's a, it's a tricky thing to do, but that is the balance that the government is trying to, uh, trying to achieve. And it, we need to be clear, this is, this will only apply in a no deal yeah, scenario. And that's what we're end. talking about Absolutely. now. Absolutely. A no deal scenario is very much in the it ether just happen. now. And when you look at possible tariffs of, sort of 40, 45% for cheese and meat, fair yeah. to the consumer or not? Well, at the moment, the consumer in the UK will be getting tariff free goods coming in from the EU and uh, many goods coming from outside the EU at a high tariff. Mm. Of course, after Brexit and in a no deal scenario, this happens within weeks, we will get a scenario where tariffs will apply equally to EU, EU uh, importers as well as uh, overseas. So it's, they have to come up with something that balances the consumer interest and the producer interest here in the UK. Jared Lyons, I mean, you wouldn't want to see a situation, presumably, where farmers would go out of business. It would be issues with food security and so forth. Farmers don't need to go out of business. The key thing, particularly in terms of the farming sector, is to recognise that the EU approach to tariffs is wrong for the UK now and is wrong in the future. And the key thing is when we leave, if in the no deal scenario, we have to avoid the protectionism of the EU. Now we don't want to be puritanical and go to zero tariffs overnight, but the key thing is flexibility. And we have tremendous flexibility. But zero tariffs perhaps on things that we don't produce yeah, domestically. That's right. My key argument has been that you need to view this in a number so of not, ways. So not on milk? Not on milk, not on rice, not on oranges, things like that. In terms of the rest, you then need to do it in terms of the overall strategy. And one of the big problems towards this sector, yeah. and one of the big problems since the referendum debate, not just in terms of farming, but overall across the domestic economy, is that we have not really looked at the domestic approach and the domestic opportunities. But the key thing in terms of farming is eventually we want to get those tariffs down to zero to benefit consumers. Consumers spend about 8% of their overall spending in the whole economy goes on food. The farming sector is 0.5%. It's important. We have enough money to actually reward the consumer with lower tariffs and to actually and to make them help drop, and, and to make producers. them in a, a, a protectionist way, in a way, by just simply saying, buy British, it's cheaper. You want that to be the case. Well, no, we, we, we heard in your piece before, actually, that you can lower tariffs and it doesn't have particularly big impact on consumer prices. It can have a very big impact on producers yeah. here in the UK. And let's be clear. If, if producers are put out of business in the UK uh, just to, to spare a couple of pence on consumer prices in shops, they will it, lose an awful lot but more. But it may be a couple of pence in different no, items that being, then leads up to a weekly shopping look, basket that some people can't afford. Look, we're being far too negative about this. This is a win-win situation. It's a win situation immediately for consumers as you start to reduce the tariff prices. And it's a win situation because our farming sector needs to be completely revolutionized. The, and it can be helped with fiscal subsidies, if you want, using protectionism mm -hmm. in the near term. But the key thing is that we not just only need to contend with the context now, but the vision and direction of travel. And the conference they had last week called for a commission. There's loads of reasons we can be positive about farming and about the opportunities for UK consumers. Do you think uh, Michael Gove is being overly concerned at the moment about farmers? I think Michael Gove is recognising that you can't do things immediately. You need to be gradual in the way in which you do these things. That is, you don't want to force people out of business overnight. There might be less than 1% of people are employed in the farming sector, but they are important people. They're often on low incomes. But at the same time, when you look at this from the consumer's perspective, tariffs within the EU are highest on food, clothing and footwear, yeah. which disproportionately hit the poorest hardest in our country. Nick. 
Well, I mean, you touched on uh, the fact that people struggle to, to buy food. That's absolutely right. But that's not a problem with the price of food. In the UK, we spend less on our food than more, almost any other country in the world as a proportion of our income. If people are struggling to buy food in this country, cheaper food is not the answer. So we need to be very careful about trying to drive for a few pence off food which could put farmers out of business and that would be much more concerning for the British public. I, I agree British with public. you. Tariffs are different to quality factors and we can have tariffs down and maintain high quality. Thank you both very much indeed.